Welcome everyone. We're excited today to have Discoveries Learning Center, Bright Horizon. And Karen Beal, who is the director of the center, is joining us today to share about the opportunities that are available at, at Discovery. So we're excited today to learn about early childhood education and what's happening in Santa Barbara and specifically with Discoveries and the opportunities that students can take advantage of. My name is Jana Mori, and I'm the Student Program Advisor at Santa Barbara City College. And from here, I'd like to just go ahead and hand it over to Karen. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I'm Karen, I'm the director at Discoveries Learning Center in Santa Barbara. It is um, lovely to be back in Santa Barbara. I have worked for Bright Horizons for about 15 years, uh, 10 years at another center. And one of the things I really love about Bright Horizons is that we have a really strong uh, backbone that supports us. So while I kind of go through the presentation, I'm also gonna show pictures of the school so you can see what our location looks like, as well as what opportunities we have. So let me share my screen. So to just to start out a little bit, I wanted to just share our setup. At Discoveries, what I really love is we're built out of homes. So it has that homey, warm feeling while also at the same time having the educational background and furniture and setups that support emergent curriculum and learning. And the leadership team is, we're small, um, we have three different age groups and uh, two or three, eight, excuse me, two or three groups in each age group. And Lucy and I are the two directors overseeing the school. And uh, Lucy has during COVID taken on a health and safety director role, which during this time and the pandemic has been very helpful in supporting parents, children, and our staff in feeling safe and accommodated and questions answered. And of course, if you choose to apply to this opportunity or the different opportunities we have, the pandemic resources and guidelines are continuously changing. So it's beautiful to have one person that's overseeing all these guidelines at the same time. And then I'm Karen, I'm the director here. I have a BA in child development. And like I said previously, I have about 20 years in early childhood education from working at different centers, from starting out as an infant teacher and being educational coordinator and now a director. And in the variety of schools that I have worked at, Discoveries is definitely one of my favorites. I love the fact that it feels so homey and that we're an outdoor school. So to start out, this is our toddler program, uh, two of our indoor classrooms. Um, we be really believe that the beginning, the beginning support for parents where 18 month olds start coming to school and separating from their parents, it's building that foundation of learning, sense of self, the uniqueness in each individual toddler and who they are and what that looks like. We are also filled with fruit trees. You can see in these pictures, we have apricot trees and plum trees and nectarine tree. So that emergent curriculum really comes alive because they learn by seeing the fruit ripen in the trees. When it falls, we have it for snack. They get to really learn and explore by watching their environment and being outside these big energetic toddler environments are just really, really beautiful and important for them. Then we have the farmhouse, which is our young preschool house. They're about two and a half to three and a half age group. So that in between pre, preschool, preschool place um, where that emergent curriculum and lesson planning really starts happening. For example, the other day a child came in with a green leaf and a yellow leaf and the teacher said, well, what's the difference? And for two, three weeks, the classroom got excited about seasons and trees changing and then pine needles and why do some trees have leaves and why do some trees have uh, leaves? And then we build math, science, language, um, uh, socialization and curriculum into that because if a child is interested in the learning, it really supports their progress and they want to learn and really find that love for learning. 
Here's the outside of the young preschool classroom. So you can see we have big spaces with um, safe but risky environments, boulders they can climb over, slides they can go down and experience and explore. And then the oldest age group is our preschool program, where we also have indoor environments, but also bring it outside a lot. We have a large climbing structure, rope they can climb on. We have a big garden, big grassy hill. Um, on the left-hand side, we have a three-tiered garden that we're going to expand to the left side of the screen. Uh, we also have a whole bunch of chickens, a snake, and birds, because we feel like Learning to take care of animals is a huge part about how we take care of ourselves, how we take care of families in the future and the life cycle in general. Um, and here's some beautiful pictures of some of the vegetables and fruits that we grow in our gardens. Uh, and some of our animals, this is teacher Debbie. She has been part of our center for 25 years. Her children went here when they were young and she has just stayed and loves the teaching and preparing kids for that kindergarten learning. So as far as our openings right now, if we have uh, two preschool full-time positions, a toddler full-time position with a lead teacher potential, a resource teacher, meaning that it's a teacher that goes from classroom to classrooms, helps with breaks and all those different things. Uh, right now, Bright Horizons, um, well, always Bright Horizons has a beautiful medical dental vision, 401k. FSA means it's a program where you can set aside money every year that's non-taxable and then you can use it for any medical supplies that you're using throughout the year. So it's a great way of saving on your tax dollars. Um, we have sick and vacation and paid holidays time. We are also, our biggest benefit is paid early childhood education degree program, meaning your AA or BA. We also do a beautiful tuition reimbursement uh, program. So in case you want to take a degree outside of what the EC program is and work towards something else, there is um, versions of tuition reimbursement for that as well. And currently we are doing a $1,500 sign-on bonus. Uh, and for teachers that once they're hired, we have a $2,000 referral bonus for current employees. So this is a great way that we're also letting our employees have an opportunity to speak about what Bright Horizons is, who we are and what that looks like. Um, to apply, you can go to Bright Horizons Career, you can Google Bright Horizons Career Santa Barbara. Uh, if you like QR codes, you can just scan this QR code. And uh, please also write down my phone number or email. I'm happy to answer any questions or thoughts that you may have, hesitations, um, wondering what it looks like. Uh, I'm happy to problem solve and figure out how we might be able to meet your needs or uh, career goals or what that looks like for you. Thank you so much, Karen. That was so wonderful. I just really <laughs> love the pictures that you put together and your presentation, super informative. So thank you. No, you're welcome. <laughs> All, right. All right, we'll say goodbye now and then proceed on with quest student questions. Beautiful, thank you. Mm -hmm.